August 2019 saw Canon's long-awaited upgrade to their PowerShot G5X range with the Canon G5X Mark II. With a retail price of £850, a host of upgrades primarily for video, I wanted to explore if the newer video creator should go for the G5X Mark II or go for the now budget G5X Mark I which can be found used for as little as £350. Now the first big difference you'll notice with the Mark II is that Canon have hidden the electronic viewfinder within the body. They've gone for a pop-up function here to allow for a more slimmed down and ergonomic design. And as part of this miniaturization drive from Canon, they've had to do away with some of the features that we did find on the G5X Mark I. Now firstly, there's no longer a hot shoe on this camera at all. It was a feature that I really liked with the G5X Mark I, but they've had to do away with it on the G5X Mark II. Next is the three inch touchscreen on the rear. The G5X Mark I featured a fully articulating side mounted front facing touchscreen. Now they've done away with this in favor of a tilting top mounted front facing touchscreen on the G5X Mark II. Both work well as front facing screens and for sure the newer version is a stronger, more durable design. I just have more of a personal preference towards that side mounted design that we see on many of Canon's DSLRs. Functionality wise, there's not actually a huge amount that's different between these two models. For sure they use different processors, but they both take advantage of that one inch CMOS sensor, which allows for fantastic video quality straight out of the camera. However, when we do dig a bit deeper, there is some key differences between the Mark I and the Mark II, especially for video. Now the G5X Mark II makes use of Canon's new Digic 8 processor. Sounds complicated, but all it means is that the Mark II can record 4K video with no crop. It can also record 1080 video at up to 120 frames per second. Now the Mark I can't get anywhere near this with its maximum recording being 1080p at up to 60 FPS. There's actually very little that separates these two cameras. For sure the Mark II does have that added five times optical zoom and yet it does render a much better quality video but deciding which one is best for you well that will depend entirely on your budget and whether 4k filmmaking is actually important to you and your workflow. So for some more information on these cameras there's some links below and whilst you're down there why not consider subscribing to our channel or even signing up to the Filmmakers Club on Patreon. That's been my grab and go review comparison style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.